Hello loves, inside this week's video, I am gonna show you how to remove the background on a product photo inside of Canva Pro. If this is your first time joining me, hello, my name is Christina Nicole and I am a maker and a product photography coach teaching makers how to take their own high quality product photos that attract more customers and make more sales for your product based business. If you find this video use, useful, make sure you hit that like button. And if you want to learn more about taking your own high quality product photos for your product based business, then make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get notified every week when I release new product photography tips. So when you need to remove the background of your image to either create those studio shots on white, or maybe you need it because you're being featured in some type of media, Canva Pro is a great way to do this, especially if you are not super familiar with Photoshop and how Photoshop works. Canva Pro makes it super simple to do. So what we're gonna do is go to the top and hit create a design, edit a photo, This is a recent shoot that I did for ZBest Celebrations. And you will notice that some of my images have a white background and some of them have a black background. When it comes to removing the background, the key, especially when using Canva Pro specifically, is to create contrast. So if you have a darker product, then you want a white background. If you have a light product, like a product that's white, or some of these, I was taking the backside of the product, then I shot them on black so that I had a high contrast. High contrast, meaning opposite colors, is going to be super important for this specific background removal tool. Choose your image. And you're going to click Edit Photo. And you'll notice here that we cannot click, click edit image. That's because our photo is currently loading. You'll see it here. We cannot do anything to this image until the loading finishes. Once our photo finishes loading, we can click on edit image and you're going to click background remover right here. You will notice that it does have this cute little symbol, which means that it requires Canva Pro to actually use this Feature. So this feature is part of their paid monthly subscription. If you are not a Canva Pro member and you want to use this feature, I have included my affiliate link in the description below this video. I do get a small commission when you use my link, but I only recommend products that I personally use and love. And these tiny commissions I make allow me to create more free trainings for you. So we're gonna click background remover and watch this magic happen. Voila. Now to apply this background remover, we do have to hit the apply button. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this and I'm actually going to frame the image a little bit more here. Nice and centered. And I'm also going to go up and click resize. And I'm going to resize to a 3000 by 3000, which is going to be a square aspect ratio. Because that's how I'm going to use this within some of my templates. And again, I'm going to click on image. I'm going to just have it fill the frame a little bit more. Okay. And then to save this, what you're going to do is you're going to go to share. You're going to click download and you want to save it as a PNG. And since I am going to make this a transparent because we're doing background removal and I'm going to insert this into a different graphic or into some type of other media, I'm going to increase the size. I'm going to put a two in here and I'm going to hit transparent. That's going to make this a transparent image, meaning it has no background so that I can then take it and put it into some type of graphic or maybe use it in some type of media. And then you're gonna click download. Now, if I wanted to use this image solely for, let's say Amazon, because I have it cropped to a square aspect ratio, then I could go up and I click sh hit share. 
download and change that to a JPEG. 3,000 by 3,000 is the max that I would use for Amazon. And if you save it as a JPEG, it'll just look like a studio shot on white. And you can click download. Now with this product specifically, I am not worried about any kind of shadowing because this is a flat product. There's not really any dimension to this product. So there really wouldn't be a lot of shadowing. If you have a three-dimensional product and you wanna see how I would add in some shadowing to make sure the product doesn't look like it's floating, then leave a comment below and I will create that video for you. If you found this video useful, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you wanna learn more about taking your own high quality product photos for your product-based business.